Hey guys, well, today's a big day. I am going solar. Uh, I told you in a previous video that April is gonna be a very busy month and it definitely has been very busy. So my dad left two days ago. He helped me do the fiberglass on the camper. I still have to finish up that video and get all that stuff done. I have had time and just been catching up with work and stuff the last couple days. And, and now we're diving right into the solar installation. So I've got two of my buddies here that are gonna be on the roof to help mount the panels and then I have another RAV4 owner that drove down from Connecticut to help me out with all of the electrical side and uh, also guide us with the solar install the panel install as well so I'm gonna get some drone shots probably I'm gonna get some more video I don't want to interrupt them too much but I'll try to get some footage and uh, I was super excited to have this system in place it's gonna be an 11 kilowatt hour system the inverter I have is 10 kilowatt max but we figure 11 is gonna be fine uh, for the panels. And yeah, that should provide most of my usage. I think if I can get my wife to cut back a little bit on some of her electricity usage, we m might be able to be off grid. It's gonna be close, but that's the, that's the hope. And then also I have the, uh, obviously the T-Rex, both of them, but I'll, I'll have 41 kilowatt hours that will primarily be used to power the house. So. Uh, I guess that's it for now. I will have more videos and more updates as we uh, as we get moving. But we're just getting started here in the day. Thanks for watching. All right, I'll make this little clip quick because uh, it's raining and we call quits. But this is uh, the end of day one. And I know it doesn't look like a lot is done, but we have a lot of the major anchor points uh, set up already. So we got the top, we got the bottom. We just got to get a, a couple more here and then two more rows in the middle. So that was the hardest part, just organizing, making sure everything was in the right spot. Tomorrow we should definitely crank along and make some more progress. Uh, out here on the electrical stuff, we definitely made some good progress. I'll update you guys, or I'll make another clip with how everything flows and where everything goes in a later video. But briefly, uh, another panel here that's gonna go right there. And we have a smaller panel that's gonna go right there. And I'll go over all that stuff later. But yeah, end of day one, I am pretty pooped and I was just the gopher pretty much. I helped out a little bit, but I tried staying out of the way and letting the professionals do their job. But yeah, there'll be more work tomorrow and I'll give you guys another update as we progress. Here's an update on the solar. I'll make this quick because it's pretty windy and I don't know if you guys can hear me. They're getting all the mounting rails up there. It's coming along pretty nice. And we still have four rails to go. And the electrical inside is coming along really nice as well. Uh, it's midday, so a couple of the guys are taking breaks, but it's coming along. I'll show you guys more as it develops. Hey guys, lots of stuff going on. This is day three of the solar install. We're getting there. I think we're a little behind. Uh, you can see my buddy Liam is up there on the roof doing some work for me right now. And we have all of the rails up. The wiring is getting there, not quite done yet. We have a junction box on the wall. You might be able to see it. And we're just working on that before we can get the panels up there. I am super red, <laughs> I've been out here all day long. And uh, yeah, the sun's taking its toll. Tomorrow is supposed to pour, unfortunately. And Liam has to get home to Connecticut. He just drove down here to help me with this installation and will basically do most of it. <laughs> and uh, I was his helper. We're running out of time for him. So this rain tomorrow really kind of sucks. We're not really sure what's gonna happen. I have a couple buddies locally that are uh, roofers slash uh, solar installers they've been helping us up there we just didn't have anything for them today until we get the electrical done we don't want to connect any panels and have them be in the way or have power up there yet so that's where we're at day three I still have ways to go and i really hope we can get some work done tomorrow that that'd be really great but thanks for watching
Hey guys, so there's a slight breeze. Hopefully you can hear me. I might have to invest in a microphone one of these days. Today is day four and unfortunately we're still not quite done. And today is the last day that I have Liam's help. He does have to get back. Uh, you can see up on the roof, all of the racking is up. It's, it's good, ready for panels, but we had to get the electrical side done. And it's super close. It's the electrical will be mostly done today by the end of the day, but it was just too rainy and windy to get solar panels up here. And I also lost uh, two of my other buddies that were helping out. They couldn't work today uh, and they couldn't work. They, only, they gave me like a half day yesterday, but yeah, I'm a, a slave driver and I just want to get these panels up there and yeah, they're not quite here yet. I'll flip it around, show some of the electrical that we have going on and hopefully next week now uh, Liam's gonna have to come back out he thinks and uh, yeah I'm really not sure we'll see how far we get today and we'll I'll talk to him and see when we can continue on so we've got a lot of new stuff going on in here and I'll probably make a different video because this is already getting pretty long to run down how everything works but that was my original panel right there in the middle and we added this one and we added this cutoff and that I believe goes to the inverter. And then we relocated my open EVSE charger, which is right down there. And then out here, I got the T-Rex sitting outside and we got all of this electrical to finish up. So Liam just ran out to get some parts and stuff that he needed from a local uh, shop. And yeah, we should have all this done and put together today. Hey guys, hopefully you can hear me okay because it's of course windy here at my house again like usual. Uh, it's May 1st and you, as you can see I'm wearing my winter jacket and winter hat. It's uh, still cold unfortunately. But we are back at it on the roof after about a week and the first panel is going in right now. Liam had to unfortunately leave. He wasn't sure when he could make it back again and I haven't told him yet. He'll find out when he watches this video, but I hired some other buddies to uh, get the solar panels up because I'm antsy and I want to get these things up here. So they're up there on the roof. I'm going to be documenting some more as we go. I also have a fence going in. So I've got a fence crew that I'm going to have a chain link fence in my backyard for my dog and for my kid. But really excited to be back on the roll again, getting these projects going. I told you guys April is going to be busy, and it definitely is. <laughs> so hopefully panels will be up. Probably not by the end of today. We got a little bit of a late start, and it's pretty windy, so we got to be careful. Uh, so maybe tomorrow, but we're working on it, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, I was hoping to wrap this video up with a working product and have it all done and I could show it off. But unfortunately we've had a lot of weather delays, uh, worker delays, and just little issues that have come up. So I figured I'd at least wrap this up and do a part two later when the, the whole system is up and running. The inverter isn't working quite like we had planned. So I'm gonna have to tweak that, uh, the wiring a little bit on that. And you, as you can see, the solar panels aren't quite up yet we have about half of them up the guys couldn't get to the very top past that point because they didn't have a tall enough ladder for the the rear of the house so i really wish i had a working product to show off but unfortunately i don't yet so I, and i don't know when exactly it's going to get done at this point liam's talking about coming back out here to help me and i have a couple guys locally who help me with the solar panels up there and they, they want to come back and finish the solar panels, but right now they don't have a uh, big enough vehicle to even go rent a taller ladder. So yeah, it's just been a lot of stuff. And I can honestly see how hiring a crew, like a whole company to come through like Renovus <laughs> to go through it and do it all would be nice because it would have been a lot less stress on me and probably on the guys as well. Like we're, we're all just trying to get the system done and piece it together. And in the end, I don't think it's going to end up costing me much less than if I just hired a company to go through it and do it all. And I probably would have it done a lot quicker. So that's where I'm at for now. I guess I'll end this video and I'll just have to do a part two whenever it gets done and completed. 
it's been I think about two weeks since we started and it's looking like it's gonna be at least another week till uh, we can get the rest of it up there the rest of the panels and we're just we're so close it really is so close but just not quite there yet uh, but on a related note I am really really close to 1,000 subscribers I think I need something like 30 or 40 subscribers and we'll be at a thousand and then I can mail out my spot welder. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribing, please consider it. I think I post some pretty cool stuff and sure the video quality can be rough <laughs> and I, I do minimal editing just to get this stuff out to you, but hopefully you guys appreciate it. Hopefully you guys want to subscribe and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day guys.